I'm here at the unveiling of the Mary Seacole statue with Professor Elizabeth Annie Onwu, the Vice Chair of the Mary Seacole Statue Memorial Appeal. And I wanted to ask you, Professor Annie Onwu, what's your reaction to today's event? Well, it's a huge sense of relief and, and one of celebration that at last, after <coughs> excuse me, nearly 13 years, the memorial is now unveiled. And the reaction from everybody epitomizes what Mary Seacole means to people from all backgrounds, but particularly the NHS. And as, as a nurse, <coughs> to see this statue, the first one to a name black woman in the UK, who is a nurse, it's, it's stunning. And this, as you mentioned, this has been a, a long campaign. And I guess can you talk about some of the challenges you've had to overcome along the way to get to this day? And some of the challenges, well, the first challenge, you know, was that not that many people knew about Mary Seacole. The second challenge was that when we started to really try and do fundraising, we hit the recession, which wasn't very good. And then I, I think it was just the amount of money that we did have to raise. But, you know, people rallied round and, as you know, Nursing Standard was our media partner and you know, I, also I, I, social media helped I, I, enormously as well. And, you know, here we are today. It's, it's I, absolutely I know, fantastic. I knew, I knew for those point, who maybe don't I, know I, I, Mary I, I, Seacole, really what, what is so important about her and why, why is she deserving of this honour? I think for many nurses and other health staff, she represents somebody who overcame diversity. She didn't give up. She had resilience, which you do need in healthcare. But you know, she wasn't she wasn't totally serious. You know, she, she was quite a feisty, humorous person. She saw the needs of soldiers a long way away from home. She had a rice pudding day, for example. But she was very compassionate. She cared for the sick and the dying. And many of the soldiers, for example, on the Crimean battlefields saw Mary Seacole as their mother. And it is this compassion that she captures that has struck me forcibly. And it's the sort of person I'd love to have been nursed by, to be quite honest.